Hi, welcome to Kathadi. In the previous video, we learned how to identify prime and composite numbers by arranging seeds. If you have not watched it, please watch it here. In this video, we will find prime and composite numbers by using the concept of factors. Let's start from where we left in the previous video. In the previous video, we took the numbers 1 to 6 and looked at ways of arranging them. Now let's find the factors. 1 has 1 row times 1 column. 2 has 1 row times 2 columns. 3 has 1 row times 1, 2, 3, 3 columns. Now 4 is arranged in two ways. The first one has 1 row times 1, 2, 4 columns. The second one has 1, 2, 2 rows times 2 columns. Now 5 has 1 row times 5 columns. And 6 has been arranged in 3 ways. The first way 1 row times 6 columns. Next 2 rows times 1, 2, 3. 3 columns. Next 3 rows times 1 and 2. 2 columns. From this the factors of 1 is 1. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Factors of 3 are 1 and 3. The factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. Now the factors of 5 are 1 and 5. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, writing in the ascending order, 3 and 6 itself. Now, let's just focus only on the factors column. Now, looking at the factors column, what do we discover? Pause the video, note down your observation and come back to the video. Numbers 2, 3 and 5 have only 2 factors. Numbers 4 and 6 have more than 2 factors. From the previous video, we already know that the numbers 2, 3 and 5 are prime numbers and 4 and 6 are composite numbers. Now looking at this table, we can conclude that prime numbers are the numbers which have only 2 factors and composite numbers have more than 2 factors. Since 1 has only one factor, we can say it is neither composite nor prime. Now, in the same way, can you find the factors of 7 and 8 and find which one is prime and which one is composite. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood 